thing in your nightmare, that thing that's holding you back, that thing that's dragging you down, that thing is you. You will not outwork me. And the whole gig is just a giant hustle. That's all it is. Life is just a hustle. That's all life is. One giant hustle. And I'm gonna skip my honey bun, cinnamon buns, cinnamon rolls to go out here and show you all this. Now you can just see the video. I had this thing delivered while I was on the road. I had run up the road at emergency and I have not um, seen this thing yet. So this is gonna be the first time. Let's flip the camera around, check this thing out. See here it is raining quite a bit. Um, so when I come up, I don't, I don't lie on my YouTube channel. I literally parked and ran inside. So I, I ran past it. I haven't really had a good look at it. Um, I know I've seen in the pictures when I bought this thing, which I didn't even expect to win it. Seeing we had some damage here. I never in a million years would have expected to uh, win this truck. Um, I put like $8,500 on this truck. And I was like, yeah, right. I was like, there's no way you're getting a Cummins for $8,500 freaking dollars. Man, it's cool how they got the pockets in the floor. Um, I've never been able to afford one of these. Remember, I buy everything cash, so I don't do payments. So anything I buy, I have to make sure I have uh, means to pay for it. Man, I really never would have thought. What is that? Airlift. Oh, wow. So it looks like it's got air on it or something. Um, no, I, I've never owned one of these. So pretty excited. This is gonna be definitely the new tow pig. Uh, we're gonna get rid of my truck. I bought it unexpectedly. I was bidding on IAA and uh, put the pre-bid on it. And I was like, hey, we'll see if it sticks. And sure enough, somehow I have no clue how. Man, look at all that. Do some painting. Uh, somehow it's stuck. So the damage, Ed called me when I was on the road and asked him how the truck was. He said, you're definitely gonna need a spindle. Uh, as you can see, the spindle's gone and busted. Uh, looks like the control arms are good, surprisingly. I don't know how. Um, does not look like the ears are bent or nothing. So it looks like spindle, uh, tie, uh, steering, and then all these wires right here. So it won't crank right now because it has ripped these wires out of that plug back there. And that sucks because I'd rather have a broken wire where I can match the colors up versus a deep pinned wire. So um, I'm gonna have to get on the phone with one of my mechanics that has all data and try to get a plug print out and figure out how in the world we're gonna plug this thing back together so that we can get this thing running. But I figured I'd share it with y'all real fast. Uh, we're gonna see what this thing holds. All this mud is from an F-150 that we had dropped off here that we had to literally get out of here this morning. But yeah, there's gonna be a new tow pig. Factory trailer brakes, it's pretty cool. When I buy a truck, um, I never know what I'm buying, I just purchase. So I don't, it's not like I go and uh, look one over or check it for dents or scratches or look underneath the hood to make sure everything's good or check fluids, like that's not how I buy vehicles. I just throw a ton of money at them and see if it sticks, like throwing crap at the wall, see if it sticks or if it slides down. Most of the time when it comes to these nice diesels, most of the time the poop slides down the wall and I don't get anything. Where's the toe? Where's the hood? But this time, somehow, no clue how, I still don't understand it. I guess because people didn't want to gamble on it not cranking because obviously it won't crank at the auction uh, with the um, wires tore up. So I can get this hood open. Hold on. And so people just were scared of it, I guess. Now y'all go ahead and comment. Let me know what I got because I have no clue what I got. I am pretty sure that this is an upgraded piece right here. I was seeing that when I was Googling last night. Something to do with the intake, I believe. Uh, looks like something back there 
that right there, whatever that is down there was silicon. The gasket maker is shiny aluminum. All of that looks really shiny underneath there, that plate. So not sure what that is or what has been changed. We got some kind of filter, SMB looks like. I had these on my previous Fords. So first glance, it looks like it was taken care of. Uh, I'm curious if this thing was deleted. Yes, I guess it was deleted because there is a block off plate right there. And there is a nipple on that that's blocked off. So I'm guessing this is a deleted truck. There's one right there, the block off plate. So it looks like we do have a deleted truck. That's cool. Eddie said it did turn over. I'm not gonna try to turn it over. It's got 219,000 miles on it. It is two wheel drive. I think we should lower this one y'all i've never had a lowered uh truck in my life but i think with this dually uh, two-wheel drive instead of lifting it we should lower it so we got the spindle there but it's broke it was like the bottom just sheared off and then ripped everything with it but it looks like everything's gonna be good it's like the tires there i have to flip it it's holding air about to flip it over see what the face looks like so this is gonna be our next project i'm super super stoked about this thing super stoked about this thing as y'all know we did this one on the channel that's my current truck that's a gas truck toes amazing but it uh passed 65 miles an hour you're gonna fight with it so i was running late uh getting to the track this past weekend and i was trying to run 70 75 and that ford just gas ford does not like it man y'all this is dude i'm so stoked and it is 2010 so i'm guessing that this was right around when they changed the body styles I'll just be even more stoked to hear this thing run because it looks like it does have exhaust on it. It's got a big exhaust tip and everything. So it's got aftermarket radio already installed, Bluetooth. Hopefully it's XM ready. Well, it says D's nuts right there on the screen. <laughs> oh man. Man, y'all. Super stoked. Super stoked. So uh y'all are gonna see probably in this video i imagine and we got factory cruise control back because you know our last truck we had to add cruise control to it because it did not come with factory cruise control man i'm just i'm i'm so stoked y'all to have this truck i think this thing is going to pull that new 24 foot trailer amazing um but y'all sit tight you'll eventually see this video either before it cranks or after it cranks and um We'll see how this thing does and what else it's got after this weather moves out of here and it stops raining and we can inspect it a little bit more underneath the truck. Max, me and Harper are loading up tools. Because we are going to... What are we doing, Harper? Going to the shop! We're going to the shop. And we are going to see if we can get this Duramax. Not Duramax. What do we buy? Cummins. Coleman. The Coleman's. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can get this Cummins to fire off. So we're just grabbing some odds and ends, Deutsch connectors in case I need to rewire a plug, crimps, and then we're gonna grab some scrap wire in case we need to extend anything. And we're gonna try to go get this truck to fire off. We don't need that, Harper, put that back. All right, so I got us set up. We got Harper chilling. We got a fan, I just cut it off and I started to dive in, but I just want to show y'all real fast. Harper's watching YouTube on my phone, so I'm gonna have to give her back the phone. I've got my diagram. Shout out to Jeff Ling for uh, my tower for providing me with this. And this is what we're putting back together. I just put my first wire back in and said, crap, I need to film. So we got to get all these in. Some of these wires are broke right here with no uh, pins that can go back in them. So I'm gonna feed all the pins that I can back into the factory terminals. And then on the ones that are broke, I'll probably cut them and uh, sadly probably cut them on that side too. And then probably Deutsch connect them to make a separate plug. Uh, so I don't have to buy a new harness. Um, that's the only thing I can really think of. Now you could get these correct terminals, but I don't know where to get them at right now. It is Sunday. Why is the car broken? Cause daddy buys everything broken and we gotta put it back together. Um, so we're just trying to make this thing happen. Fortunately, most of this in here is all tail lights and stuff. Uh, there's a couple fuel pump things that we need to uh, uh, have working to get this thing to fire off. And then once we get this plug back together, hopefully we can hear this truck running for the first right, time. You hang out in here and I'm going to record, okay? Give me a high five. Thanks for hanging with me, Boog. So I just took her phone because she was watching the videos. So we've got everything 
uh, put together. What we have used to overlay is these cheap things that we use on our uh, trackers for our payment vehicles, buy here, pay here. Uh, these basically crimp the wire and then when you fold them in, they give you a slot right there in the end that these spades stick inside of. For all the other terminals inside this plug right here that was on here, I just pulled them back in, grabbed them from the inside with a needle nose and pulled them through. Um, some of the wires are double color, but you can tell off the gauge size. So my printout tells me the gauge size so I can tell which one's bigger and which one's smaller, where they go. And then them four back there, I just overlaid them for right now and jumped them to the back side of the plug because it's it's hot it's over it feels like over 100 degrees out here i've got the car running harper's inside with the ac i've got a mess y'all this is 100 percent being a father and trying to take care of your child and multitask harper what you doing if y'all see her in the other videos with the race car she's a train wreck so i've had the fan on i'm sweating all we want to do is hear this thing fire off and run and then we me and harper are out of here because i'm satisfied so let's see what it does. Now I did turn the key forward a second ago just to prime it, but I didn't try to crank it because I wanted to grab the video. Look at that, it's running. Wow. She runs. She freaking runs, y'all. The truck's running, Harper, what do you say? Say yay. I don't know if she's as pills as me. I think she just wants the phone back to watch YouTube. The truck is running. Oh man. That's amazing. That is freaking amazing. And I knew it would probably because of how much I've been doing this experience. AC real fast while we're here. Push for the snowflake. So we got AC. Feels fun. Feels uh, cold. Feels fun. Man, my brain. I'm thinking about a million things. I don't really want to turn the wheel because she's on a block. Amazing, amazing, so stoked. All right, I think Harper's ready for a phone back. I gotta get this cleaned up. We ordered the spindle, 100 bucks off eBay. Uh, now that it runs, that means this week, hopefully I can go ahead and get this thing jacked up, get these control arms out of here, and go ahead and change the ball joint. So as soon as my spindle gets here, I can chunk my spindle in and be good to go. And I'll go ahead and break down the wheel that's in the back of this thing, all the brakes and everything off of it, see if I need any brake lines. Uh, go ahead and get my tie rods, get all that ordered you know, tomorrow, Monday. And we can be on the way and check out the wheel condition. So the next video is going to be us rebuilding this thing. We did already snag a fender. I have freaking jumped the gun with this thing and snagged a fender before it was even running. Got the same color white. That's why I jumped on it. Um, we'll have to duplicate this pinstripe, which I don't know how we're going to be able to duplicate that up there. And uh, now that I know it's running, I'm going to go ahead and put in an order for headlights and stuff like that. So thing. if y'all are new to the channel and you're here for this build, Maybe stick around, at least smash that like button for me if you enjoyed the content. Uh, it's hot, hot as crap. Me and Harper are gonna hit the house, go back home and work on the race car. Thanks y'all.